Hello! Well, hey there, my name's Tyler, and somehow you started watching my video. Hold on, don't go anywhere. I don't really have anything important to say, but I mean, while you're here, you might as well stick around. So I recently turned 21, which means that I got to try alcohol for the first time. My sister and her boyfriend actually got me like the cutest gift. It's like all these like samples of different kinds of alcohol and they're like travel sized. So like anytime I need to pick me up, I can just, you know, I'm just kidding. I would never drink to relieve my issues. But I will just say, turning 21 is the best thing that can ever happen to anyone. Especially if you already think you're the queen of the night, having a 21st birthday week reaffirms it. Sunday night at midnight, I had my first drink. It was a Long Island, followed by another Long Island, followed by another Long Island, followed by the floor. And then, Monday night, my friend Corey, whose link will be right here, took me out for a couple of drinks and that was delicious. More Long Islands. You're picking up on a trend here. Tuesday night, more drinks. Wednesday night, we went line dancing and I rode a mechanical bull and etc. Thursday afternoons was when it started picking up and my liver was not responding well. As soon as I got out of class, I went straight to the bar. More drinks. Nom 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 nom. Then that Friday night, I saw Taylor Swift, which was Phenomenal! And after that, I went with my friends Joe and Corey from YouTube and a couple of our other friends to the gay club, which was phenomenal, so fun. And then just as soon as I was so done with drinking, Saturday came and it was the capstone day of my birth week. It was epic. At around 5.30ish, my birthday bar crawl commenced and we went from place to place with drink to drink to drink to drink. And even my mom was there and a whole bunch of friends from high school were there and YouTubers were there and it was just phenomenal. And like I said, I was the queen of the night. We all got t-shirts and they turned out adorable. I had it so you could get a crew neck or a v-neck and even a tank. And at the last bar, there were probably like six other bar crawls there. There was a mom bar crawl. There was a wrestling team bar crawl. There was a neighborhood bar crawl. Not gonna say that we had the best shirts, but the other shirts were definitely not as good. And I'm a little ashamed to say that my mom didn't know that these were lyrics from a Whitney Houston song. I got the stuff that you want, the things that you need, got more than enough to make you drop to your knees. I'm the queen of the night, queen of the night, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So with that all in mind, I realized maybe my friends are not the only people who are gonna want this shirt. Hold your britches. In the description area, wherever the fuck that is nowadays, there is a link to my District Lines account where if you want, no pressure, you can buy one of these shirts. You can get it in crew neck or v-neck or tank top and all three look phenomenal, I think. I mean, this is something I would wear any day. It's fabulous. It's fabulous. I'm sorry, but it's fabulous. It's fabulous. Also, I'm gonna do this thing where if you buy a shirt and you send me a picture of you wearing the shirt, I will put it in a future video. There is a Garen fucking tee that if you wear it and you send me a picture, I will put it in a video. Nobody will be overlooked. If you do that, I will put it in a video. That's all. Anyway, that's everything from me. Um, I hope you guys have a great life and I will talk to you soon. Peace. I'm the queen of the night.